Hey, I'm Dwayne, Whiskey 4, Foxtrot, Delta Tango. We're here at Doug, November 4, Delta, Juliet Romeo's QTH. And today we're going to bring you a video about an antenna whose release has been highly anticipated among the ham radio community. Doug, tell us about the antenna. Man, we are talking about the portable hex beam by Buddy Pole. Or the Buddy Hex, and that's what we're going to call it, just like everybody else. So if you'll stick with us, we're going to get the components laid out for you, show you what's in the kit, and get it put, get it put together for you. Stay with us. Okay, so we've got the kit laid out for you. We're going to show you the components and some of the options for the kit, and then uh, we'll get it put up. So one of the options in the kit, obviously, is the Buddy Pole Hex Beam. As you see, it comes bundled together. It has a strap to keep it together. It does fit down in the center so that it, it kind of fits it fits together as a, a way to carry it. It also comes with the uh, elements on these wire wraps. These are pre-production wire wraps, so the ones that you get will be a professional injection molded model. The, again, these are pre-production. The other option in the kit is the Massworks tripod. The Massworks tripod comes in three sizes, five meter, seven meter, which we have here, and 10 meter. Now the tripod comes with two guy in kits and the stakes. Another option that you can get with the kit is a sports tube to be able to uh, carry this on, you know, any kind of traveling or de-expeditions that you might go on. Uh, this is going to be perfect for people that go on de-expeditions because it is a rugged way of carrying your antenna. As you can see, we've still got the luggage tag from when we carried this antenna to Alaska with us and it worked great up there. Um, shout out to the uh, Ham Radio Adventure Club. Uh, there's their sticker on the, tri on the uh, sports tube there. So shout out to them. But this is an option that uh, Buddy Pole will offer to people who want another way of carrying their antenna, um, you know, in a more rugged environment. Now these, both of these come with a shoulder carrying strap, but the uh, sports tube is just another option that they offer. So stick with us, we'll get the antenna set up, show you how to do that, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Okay, so we've got the Massworks tripod set up, pre-guide, and ready to go. Two of us put it together in about 10 minutes, got it leveled, and the guy set up. So as you see, we've got the guy wire set up and ready. If we needed some additional stability, then we could hang some weights or put something on the legs of the tripod to give us that additional stability. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go show you how to put the antenna together and then we'll transfer it over to the mast. So stay with us. All right, everybody, we're going to show you how to put this uh, hex beam together. It's not a very hard process, but uh, anyway, so we got the, uh, the tension arms here and we're going to put these together. It goes to the shock corded, super simple. They just slide together just like that. Well, there we go. All right, so get it all put together. You do have some cords that hang off of it. These are your tension lines. We'll go over that shortly. And uh, Dwayne, if you will. All right, so what we got here, this is your upper and lower hub assembly. This is uh, what everything goes into and makes up the uh, actual piece. So all you do on this, you take your tension arm, and it just slides into the hub assembly, lower hub assembly like this. And at this point, you can sit it down now and uh, grab you another arm. Thanks, boy. And you just, you just repeat the process till you go all the way around. Add the second arm in. And then uh, just continue all the way around till you get all the pieces in. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, break from here. I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of this assembly and we'll show you how the tension line's going. Okay, folks, as you can see, we got the whole assembly laid out now. Got all the tension arms into the lower hub and uh, we're ready to start doing the tension wires. And one thing I wanna show you is the end of each tension arm has two, two tension wires. So one goes back to the upper hub and one goes over to the other uh, tension arm. What I normally do when I'm laying this out, I just lay them one to the back that goes to the upper hub and the one that goes over to the arm, I lay it to the right side. 
And then all you do is, as you can see, there's a little toggle on here. It's notched for the wire to lay into, or the rope. Lay it into the notch, bring it to the upper part, the upper hub, slides in through the hole, push it in, and it locks in. And it's that simple. And then what you do from there, come back, you get the one that goes to the other arm, grab it, bring it over to this arm. Same thing, it's got a hole for it. You just let it slide through and it's locked into place. Take your tension wire, go back to the center, the top hub. Push it through, locks in. And just bear with me, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put all together. Or at least get the uh, tension wires all hooked up. There's really not a whole lot to it. This is super easy. Chris and them have really made it an easy process at Buddy Pole. And then we got the last tension wire coming over. Get that toggle in. And there she is. Got all the tension wires on it. And we'll break from here. And when we come back, we're going to put the... Uh, put the wires on to make up the uh the elements all right folks we got the uh we went ahead and got the wire off the wire winder and uh kind of just laid it inside the ring here to help out with things and uh, we're going to show you how this goes on super simple super easy so you're going to come in you're going to start right below the top hub and you can see you just unscrew this just a little bit i know for the hook to lay on there and tighten it back up. And then you just stretch the wire back out. And it literally comes up and it's color coded. The blue wire goes to the blue clips and it slides into the slot and it's in. Then you just go to the next one. And what this is making right here where it's coming out is making where it's directional and the rest of this will be your uh, reflector. So it just comes across like this. You just hit each one of these clips that's color coded, locked in just like that. And just work your way all the way around. Like I said before, Chris and them at, uh, at Buddy Pole has made this so easy to do. <laughs> They've really thought this through when they built this thing. It's a, it's a great product, man. We really put this thing through its paces in Alaska, didn't we, Dwayne? Yeah, we did. Try and true, it's a good antenna. All right, so here, this makes the other part of your direction. 
So we'll go back under and this comes back to the center support. Open it up a little bit more. Drops in, tighten it up. And that's how you put it on. That's all there is to it. And uh, each of them are color coded. All your wires are color coded. And uh, it's, it, they made it super simple. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, break here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the beams on. Or uh, get this all the wires on, get it built. And uh, we're gonna get it up on the tripod and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, everybody. As you can see, we've got it completed now. We got all the wires on it for all the different uh, the bands. And this is a uh, blue is 20 and we go all the way up to six meters on this one. And uh, all color coded, everything went on super easy. Uh, really nothing to it. Uh, as you can see right here, if you notice this comes in as, as like a pie shape. This is your directional part. This is the aiming part. This is what you want to aim towards the area that you want to talk to. Everything else around it is the reflector. And, uh, but what's great about this antenna is, is people hear you off the, the backside of it too. It, it really, it's a great antenna, man. It does so good. Got a tensioning strap here that uh, just tensions the wires up, makes it uh, where, where they're not so uh, saggy. Uh, got all your guys on here, the mass works, uh tripod comes with a crank so you can adjust which way you want to to uh to aim the directional part and uh it's uh Dwayne super simple to put together man what do you think I think it didn't take us long to put it together yeah. um I think this antenna is uh well thought out it's uh certainly ready for portable use and uh you know there's a lot of ways of putting this thing together um, you know, people do, are going to be able to do it their own way when they get this antenna in their hands. But this is the way that we have found that that works best for us. Now, naturally, you would attach coax here and have it draped down, and you you want to use a Velcro strap or something to hold the cord to the uh, tripod, so that way it's not flapping in the wind. A little strain relief. Just a little strain relief. And uh, but since we're just doing an instructional video on how to put it together, we're, we're not going to do the coax at this time. When we do the uh, the the video of us using it and working with it, then uh, you'll see all that. Uh, Dwayne, you'll put it in the air where they can see what it looks like up high? Yeah, I'll back up and I'll let you go ahead and put it in the air. We'll let them see what it looks like putting air. All right, literally, folks, with two people putting this together in Alaska, we did it in about 20 minutes. We put the whole thing together, threw it together, and had it ready to go in about 20 minutes. So it's it don't take that long at all. But uh, let's get this thing in the air. And it's just that easy, folks. One person can raise this up. This is the seven meter mass works. Remember, we've already pre-guide the mass. We've got the mass level. We know it's where it needs to be. And there it is in there, folks. Look how, look how beautiful it looks. As you can see right here, you can see where the wires come into a V. That is the directional part of the antenna. That is where it fires. And the crank on the mass works tripod makes it so easy. And he's done. That's how fast it is. He's going to rotate it. He's rotating the beam with the hand crank on the mass works. I hear possibly down the line there may be some type of automatic rotator. That'll be awesome too. But this crank works great. He's rotating it back and forth. The beam's in the air. It looks beautiful. Just look at it. So we're going to go ahead and break right here. We uh, showed you how to put it together how long it takes to put together, what it looks like in the air. We'll come back with our thoughts about this antenna in just a moment. Stay with us. Okay, so we just showed you what the hex beam looks like, the buddy pole hex beam. We showed you how it goes together. We showed you what, what it looks like in the air on the MassWorks tripod. We hope that when you get the beam in your hands that you're able to use it and make a lot of contacts. We know we sure did. We took this beam to Alaska where it performed great. We enjoyed it. 
it was something that uh, really helped us make the trip worthwhile uh, we were able to make some contacts with it it saved our bacon the last day we were there i oh, don't yeah. think uh, we would have ever been able to make contacts <laughs> with a wire that day so uh, we want to thank buddy pole for letting us take it up there um we appreciate having the beam and uh, we hope to get a lot of uses out of it in fact we're taking it to a parks on the air activation in the morning yep so look for us on 20 meters uh sometime early morning uh doug you know what was your take on today well it was uh it's it's a great antenna it's uh easy to put up it's uh it, it performs really good like like you said that last day in alaska man if we didn't have it we, we wouldn't have got that park activated man but we did and uh, just because of that antenna so look a couple of us big guys got out in the hot georgia sun today <laughs> to get this antenna displayed for you so that uh, you know what what's coming out down the pipe for buddy pole and uh we hope that uh you know you'll enjoy the antenna as much as we have so we'll go ahead and wrap it up uh we'll get everything put up and uh we'll look we'll hope to catch you on the air tomorrow so i'm Dwayne whiskey for foxtrot delta tango and doug november 4 delta juliet romeo 73 73